Ah, yes. Freaking lot. I got some stuff to talk about today. Yes. Freaking WrestleMania. Roman Reigns, The Rock. Shit. Talk more about that lunatic in Dalton. I'm gonna cover a whole bunch of stuff tonight. Yes, yes. What's going on? Dude, I'm all right. Freaking doing my thing. One sec. Doing my thing. Uh, yes. Don't break my heart. My achy, breaky, stupid heart. A six. A six. Seven. A seven. Eight. A eight. Twelve. A twelve. Eleven and uh, eleven and we're out of twelve. Eleven and eleven. Eleven. No, first one. No, first one. I mean, two. Huh? Two, two, two. One, two. You already got the two. One and one six. A one six. Yes. A six. And a two. And a five. And a eight. Six. Two, six, seven, eight, and eleven. <laughs> give me, give me my freaking ticket. Then let me see you. Freaking ah, cabrón. Ay, muévele, cabrón feo. Ah, give me boletos. Muévete feo. <laughs> feo, cabrón. Dice que hay muchas ladies. Ah, ah, no ladies for feo. No ladies for feo. No cigaritas for feo. Ah, está muy feo. Nada, nada. Only guys. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, 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 Seven. I already gave you some. Oh, no, I didn't. Seven. Which one is that? Seven? Seven, seven. No, it's? No. Okay. Which it's one did uh, I take off? One second. Yeah. yeah. Delete this. 40, 110 dollars. 60 penny. Uh, this one not. And you look fine. So. Yeah, it's too much money. <laughs> okay. So, you don't want this. Yeah.
Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, they won. <laughs> oh. Like a like a fucking boss, they won. Oh, but that kind of scares me. You, Cody Rhodes ain't winning shit. He's gonna win an ass whooping tomorrow. <laughs> See, that's why I thought I thought the I thought the the tribal chief was gonna take tonight, and Cody Rhodes is gonna take the belt tomorrow. Uh, what I tell but, you guys? But if Cody, if they won tonight. Fuck. <laughs> I told you guys. Hey, the head of the table may continue tomorrow. He may he may go for it, another year. It, the Rock has his own belt now. Did you see that? Well, the, the Rock's... No, they got a people's belt. They no, got a people's that, champion that belt. Pisses me. Ah, they gave it to him last night during the Hall of Fame ceremony. Triple H. <laughs> Did you see Paul Heyman's speech? Yes. That might have been the funniest, greatest thing in the fucking world. Yes. That thing was so funny. He's like, blah, blah, blah. You can suck my dick at the Hall of Fame speech. <laughs> no Paul, candy. No, Paul I'm, Heyman. Hold up, hold up. Don't candy coat it, brother. Say what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paul Heyman. He, Paul Heyman spoke on like three different people's behalf. He literally put on... The leather jacket pulled out the phone. He was like, "Wait, this is the real phone, right?" And he was like, "If if you don't believe in this, you can suck my dick." It's like, "Boy, hit it, bro! It's your Hall of Fame speech, bro. Chill, chill." But he spoke to mine, and that's why he's in the Hall of Fame because he's always done that. Whether he's with the Undertaker, whether he's with Kane, whether he's with Brock Lesnar, whether yes. he's behind fucking the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, he speaks his mind. And he speaks to it with passion, and that's why he is where he is. Paul Heyman's a goat. And and Paul Heyman may be one of the best heels ever, did, and he's not even a wrestler. Did you see the tribute to, to Bray Wyatt? At the yeah, end? that was... I remember when I was little, Bray Wyatt first came into WWE, and his theme song would come up. I'd get scared. I was like a little kid. I was like, ooh, I don't like this. It's like uh, Bray Wyatt was like the boogeyman. It's like, ooh, this is creepy. I don't like this. I'm laughing out. He performed. He performed. Yes. I told you guys. I, what was I telling you? I told you. I called it last night. There was no fuck. There was a snowball's chance of hell of Seth, Seth Rollins and freaking and Cody Rhodes beating The Rock and freaking The Rock and Roman Reigns. Wasn't going to fucking happen. And check this out. The man's belt doesn't have WWE on it anywhere. The Rock's belt. Does not have any WWE that logo also on. That's pissing me off about the whole uh, Logan Paul type shit. The the whole RKO Logan Paul, bro. No, it, it it's Randy and Kevin Owens. <laughs> Logan Paul's gonna get knocked the fuck out. His brother's gonna get knocked out too. He he, he better. And, and if fucking <laughs> and if KSI shows up just on the the prime like uh, promotion, fuck that, bro. It, it's 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 Kevin Owens time. <laughs> Kevin Owens has been working I told for you. a long ass time. Kevin Owens is didn't I say that last night, you guys? Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens, he, he Roman Reigns, it. and Drew McIntyre have been carrying that company Drew on their McIntyre? backs for three for three years. Drew McIntyre is also a great heel, and they deserve their opportunity. Ah, I told and you. I when Drew McIntyre gets his belt tomorrow <laughs> night, I think he's gonna turn. He's gonna turn from a heel into. A, a, a face of WWE because that's the way WWE is moving. They're moving back towards the um, like the the old like New World Order, like the DX, right? Like, everything like that. They're going old school, They're, you guys. They're going old the, school, the, OG freaking wrestling. E even in the promos, even in the yes. promos. Let me take care of this guy. Absolutely. I told you guys. I freaking know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. Fucking fools coming up in here talking about, oh, they're going to get beat. No, they ain't. They ain't going to lose his shit. It's over. They ain't losing nothing. Freaking, what's his name? He's going to beat the shit out of freaking Rhodes tomorrow. He's going to get his ass beat down. Though. I'm tired of Roman Reigns, bro. That guy's too long. That guy could be the champion for another five years. I freaking love it. I don't know. It's, it's killing it. It's, it's killing the excitement. Freaking luck. Ain't losing nothing. Winning everything. The bloodline rules forever. Fuck the bloodline. <laughs> Gonna run six to twelve years. Fuck the bloodline. Old school fucking wrestling. Destiny. There you go, but you want it back? No, I'm okay. Shit. I like it when they have that's the way it used to be back in the old old and olden times. Motherfuckers held that belt for E. You know who I really love being in WWE? Like when 20, he comes to the announcer table? 2860. Fucking Pat McAfee. Yes. Pat McAfee that and, and Jay. It, I love it. 
Pat is doing a good job. And that other cat, the one uh, that used to be arrested. The one that was working last night. He's cleared the rest of you, but they told him, nope, you're, yeah, you're no, going to no. stay behind the mic. You're doing a great job. Just keep it where you're at, baby. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. They got the dream. They have the dream team announcers now. Fucking Booker T. That crazy ass, I got bad news. Bad news, Barrett. Who else? They got the, they, look at you guys. They got the fucking dream you said, team you on announcements. You said 15 on cashback? Yes. The dream team. They got Pat McAfee. They got freaking uh, Bad News Bear. They got Booker T. They got that lame ass freaking. What's his name? You guys got a. You guys got a bathroom in here. It's out there. Out there. Yeah. I gotta give you the key. Can I get freaking. Or I'm also. I'm also gonna get something else. Get another fifteen. Got the the dream team go. You got uh, like Arizona or something for like nine nine cents. Oh, I see him right now. The guy's name. Corey. Corey. What's his name? Corey. What? What's his name? Corey's? Um, I'm not too sure. He's dating that sister, the one that does the announcing. It's his girlfriend. What? Uh, this is a dollar fifty-four. That's fine. Hope everybody's having a good evening. Okay. Gang, gang, Sean Little. What's up, Sean? What's up, Michael? What's up, Data? This is Lar. WrestleMania coverage. I told you guys. I freaking told you guys. How do you feel about the two-day WrestleMania, though? I love it. You like it? You Hell like yeah. It? Keep them coming in. It's all about the money. I Fuck know. Yeah. I wish that. Hell yeah. Take care of those wrestlers. The every wrestler on every wrestler that works for the WWE should get time on the fucking on the stage at WrestleMania. Yeah, but I think the two day they, WrestleMania is taken away from SummerSlam. No, I don't think so. All the every single one of those wrestlers deserve time in the spotlight. They're all phenomenal talents. It's not like the old days when you only had five wrestlers that were talented. And all the rest were just true. there to fill the card. That is true. Every single wrestler that works for the WWE today is a phenomenal fucking athlete. And they all deserve their time in the spotlight. And a huge I'm entertainer. I'm super grateful that they give those guys a two-day uh, WrestleMania so they can show off their skills. And also, they, they can show off their skills and it gives them the ability to network in case they have to leave the WWE and go find real work. Absolutely. Some of those people are super talented and they're all extremely bright. They all are college educated people. Super athletic too. So I they deserve don't, don't even mind they, that. they deserve their time in the spotlight. Absolutely. Yeah. There's this is the key to the bathroom. Oh, this is yes. Right, you got anything else right to say to my audience before oh, you I'll bounce? be right back. I'll be right back. Believe me, I'll be right back. Back on <laughs> Yes! Freaking love it. Give them as much time as you can in the in the Laura for president. Vote for me. I'm mucho importante to myself. <laughs> Sick ass Lar. I overslept today. Uh oh. I got I came to work late. I'm in trouble. <laughs> hey, get your ass up. You coming to work, stupid? Oh shit, sorry. Bring your ass to work. Larg. It was a great main event. But he did not keep his promise. But they had, you know, he did it on Monday Night Raw. They were going to do it twice. He promised to give her the bloody belt. But I, I, you know, they had all that go down on that Monday Night Raw. So I, I seen, but, you know, that was a good call. Go ahead and do it now. Because they knew they were going to sell out. Dwayne Johnson is a freaking once-in-a-lifetime talent. And, and he knows it. But he got hurt. We'll see what happens. He got injured um, to, to, tonight. I seen him. Um, he was injured. He's old. He's not a young guy. So I'm worried. I'm, I am worried about that. He did get injured. I'm thinking he probably got injured uh, during the spot where he had to go through the table. But he's injured for sure. I, when he was trying to get out of that ring, he was struggling at the end of the match. I could see it in his face. I think he might have, um, I'm hoping it's nothing se severe, maybe a sprain. But there's definitely something wrong with, I think it's his right leg. Up by the thigh area. I hope he didn't tear his, I hope he didn't get another hernia. Because he got a hernia in the Cena match. Everybody's bouncing on me.
Yeah, no, I didn't hear anything about Jordan wanting to play again. Everybody's leaving. No, don't freaking leave. I'm live. It's Lar live. Michael Jordan in the freaking house again. Larg, Barbara. The Seahawks came in so far. Zenti came in. Who else? Who else has been here? Michael. Sean Little. Suck it. Right. I hope, I hope, I uh, hope uh, people stop by tonight. I knew that there was no way they were going to ca cause those two to lose that match. <clears throat> yeah, don't don't expect to see that fight. I have a feeling that fight is not going to happen. The fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. I I think that I don't know. I I have a weird feeling that fight is not going to happen. I mean, Mike Tyson is a, hey Grace, what's going on Grace? Mike Tyson is a freaking monster. If he does get in the ring with Tyson, he's going to run for Tyson the whole entire fight. He's not going to want to get in there with Tyson. Tyson will... Hey, no, with, what's that? Mike Tyson's going to run from him the whole... I mean, uh, Jake Paul's going to run from him the whole fight. He's not going to in the, get in there with him. It makes it up. Not at all. Got people coming up in here. Ugh. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm talking to my peoples. Well, tell your people that I said hey. She said hey. You say tell them yourself. Yeah, I would love to. There you go. Hey. Hey. Are you on my stream? Yes. <laughs> yes. How many people you on your live stream? Uh, I don't know. It's about five people. cigarette out here. What's up, you guys? Who's in here now? I got Moan. Mooney. Sonia. What's up, Sonia? 
I told you guys. I don't. You were in here last night, Sonia. I told. I told everybody last night. There was no way that Roman Reigns and <laughs> The Rock were losing that match. Not gonna happen. Yes. Freaking uh, doing a, a, a Saturday live. Tomorrow is tomorrow is Chicharrones Sunday, like a boss. Chicharrones. Uh. Hell yeah. Uh. Yes. God, I was late to work tonight. <laughs> I overslept. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I freaking I knew there was no way that The Rock and freaking Roman Reigns were losing that match. Not happening. Yeah, he's a YouTuber. Yes. <laughs> okay. What's up? Can I use the restroom? Thank you. Hello? Talking shit about my channel in front of me. Wow. Ah, <laughs> did you did you get that? <laughs> yes, at least they're not trolling me. <laughs> He's a YouTuber. Yes. <clears throat> yes. So there you go. I'm trying to think about what I want to talk about. I'm already I'm already burned out on the wrestling thing. Can only talk about it for so much. I'm gonna figure something out. I feel like sitting down though. You can't wait for night two. They saved the best for last. Ah. Let's set this here. Be right back. Days off this week. Let's see what's going on. Eating some Jack in the Box now. What you eat? Freaking ready to go. It's my second Friday. I got four days off this week. Yes. See how many people come in tonight. Decided to go live talk and freaking out of pure excitement over freaking <laughs> watching the rock in the ring again making money hand over fist 
I only watched the main event. I have no no comment about the, the rest of the show yet. Uh oh, what's this? Marianne, what's up, Marianne? Marianne. Thank you, Marianne. Gemma, what's up, Gemma? How are you? Gemma, what's up, Gemma? What are you doing in here, Gemma? <laughs> the Lakers and the Kings won both of them. How did they do that? Did they play at two different venues? Ready? 24, 29. Uh, all good, please. What's that? All good. All good. A bat? Yeah. 20, 24, 29. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. 24. 24, 29. What's that? All right, take care, guys. Okay. Right. Thank you. <sighs> there we go. Anyways, moving on. Those two are freaking always hammered. At least they didn't get stupid tonight. They were both at home. Lakers played first. Then oh, so they they changed the floor. So how did they get that? The, the, the Lakers played first. So they got that. They got that freaking ice skating rink frozen in two hours. Did they have an issue with that? Did, did they have any issues with the, um, the 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 players not getting traction with their um, skates? They were able. There was no issues at all. That ice must be really thin. That might. That ice must only be like this thick. If they got got it to freeze in two hours. That must be really thin ice. They got it to freeze that quickly. Yep, the Kings started at 7 p.m. and the Lakers were done by five. Well, you can't you can't have the basketball game after the after the after the um, the hockey game because I remember back in the old days, man, they had serious issues with prop with the parquet uh, in Boston. They had serious issues uh, with the uh, water coming seeping through the parquet back in the um, 80s. Ah, the Celtics. They probably weren't the only team. They probably experienced the same thing in Toronto as well. No, Lakers were first. Yeah, they had to have been. There was no way they could have the, the basketball game after the, uh, after the hockey game. 
Especially in that short a period of time. There'd be freaking water everywhere on that floor. Condensation. Alone. Hindi Bowl Paga. KR. KR. What's up, KR? So, yeah, they would definitely have issues. Mike Lowry! Oh, my God. I love it when they're hammered and they talk shit. <laughs> they're freaking hammered talking shit. Just putting themselves on loud. Oh. It's probably not smart. So I've been watching a lot of videos from Impact. I I M P C T, I think it is. Impact. And they love going in those post offices, man. Those people, look at those people in the post offices, that's like freaking high drama, bro. <laughs> those fools that go to the post office be losing their fucking minds over getting filmed. <laughs> I mean, every single video that I watch, it, I think that's all they do now is post office because they get so much good footage because those people that go to the post office lose it. They freaking lose their minds. Skinwalker Ranch. Is, is that on uh, Peacock? If, if it's on Peacock, I, I, I may have heard of it because they, they got a new show on Peacock. Triple hella hard, especially the employees. Yes. So my advice to to people that want to um, do photography, my advice to people, because somebody, the, the people will be watching this. So if you're gonna go do photography at the post office, pay attention to what's going on around you. Be prepared to defend yourself, because those people at the post office are, um, are a trip. And you know you're dealing with a whole. It's not like you're dealing with a uh, a uh, a sector of people. You know, it could be anybody that come in there and freaking hurt you. So you could, you got to be careful with that. Extra careful. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm good, man. How's everything? I'm super good. Watch me at dinner. Best thing. That shit was class. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. That brother is a very boy. He is all fucking over. Shit. That fool was cutting promos during the match. I was cracking up. I was like, look at this brother right here. <laughs> Seriously. He was cutting. He was freaking cut promos during the match. I was rolling. So I was checking out. Right? So yeah, man. Classic stuff. Dr. Shield during the I was rolling. Rolling. But nothing like, you know, back in the day, that brother was yeah. You were either just with the headphones out, I mean just crazy stuff. Later, bro. Okay. SGV did post office back in the day. Yeah, um, look it. I'm telling you, listen to what I'm telling you. 
if you go to the if you go to a post office and you're doing your your photography right your public photography be careful be, be very careful watch your back pay attention to the people around you Miriam what's up Miriam <laughs> crazy ass Lar it's on live I decided to go live talk about rest rest screening yes what's up Miriam so yeah don't be prepared because those fools are sick and they don't care those guys the impact guys you know he takes his kids with him right he takes his children with him when he does it and they wear masks when they're doing it but it's obvious that those two are children and people still get handsy with them people still get handsy so i'm like wow and they know they can tell that those are kids absolutely they can tell and they still freaking touch him and try to you know snatch the camera and all that shit from him. two little uh, two uh, minors uh mia what's up mia i'm doing well Miriam. i don't know if i don't know if i have any uh moderators if i have moderators in here could you please drop those links for mia and Miriam? thank you but uh um, yeah man gotta be careful have to be super careful people are out of control at the post office high drama <laughs> high drama uh, what do you feel? What are you filming? Filming you? You can't film me. <laughs> yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Marry up. I can't drop links, Mary. My phone doesn't work. I can't even. This phone is like cheap. I'm not on my computer. It's one of those days. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mike. I appreciate it. What's up? I, I, I promised to do a live stream for um, people to uh, connect. I just haven't got to it yet. I had to do that from my computer. Because this phone does not... Uh, I can't manipulate the chat with this phone for some reason. But I promise I will have a live stream just for people to connect with each other. It helps it helps the channel, helps everyone's channels grow. What's going on, Jorge? I was I told you guys, didn't I say it last night, Jorge? I told you. There was no way there was a snowball's chance in hell of The Rock and Roman Reigns losing that match. It was not gonna fucking happen. No. They fucking and they did it resoundingly. That shit was fucking dope. He only, but he did only hit him with the belt once. There was no, hey, look at, there was no way he was gonna do that to that to that man's mother. <laughs> I'm gonna hand her my butt. I'm gonna hand your your mom my your, my butt. That wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> but it it made for great fucking TV. Oh my god, did you watch it? No, but I saw how that of it. Shit, man. Dwayne Johnson. Oh yeah. Dwayne Johnson is fucking all over it. Dude. Oh yeah, big time. All over that man. If he would be crazy to fucking go step away from, it. he will oh, make no, yeah. so much money. He can do other stuff, but you can't leave it, bro. You know? I mean, they are freaking making money hand oh, over yeah. fist since that man has come back. You know what? Yeah, I know. Uh, Seneca Red. Seneca 100. Red. There's no way. No. There's no way. Hell no. And there's no way to have Roman Reigns lose that title. No, you can't. No, they can't. That dude is broke. Yeah, he can't. He can't. It's not freaking happening. You know what? Can I get two of those twenty ones or two late? Two twenty ones. Yeah, I know. You know he can't. He can't lose it. Especially they dropped that that freaking documentary about him on Monday. Oh, that's right. It comes out on Monday, Sunday. Yeah. No, they dropped the oh. documentary on Sun on Sunday. That's right. And that freaking thing is breaking all kind of records. I know. I know. And it's just a documentary. I don't know. You guys hear about that? Hold up. They dropped a, that documentary about Roman Reigns that they dropped on Sunday on A&E. It's breaking fucking records. Unseen viewage. Uh, unbe people are like, holy shit. Completely blown up. Yep. 
career. Really? And you know, he, his story is a good story. The man is. is a leukemia survivor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you know that? I, I mean, you can't get more freaking... And you know, it's not like that goes away. He's had to deal with that for the his whole entire life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. It's not something that's gone. Right. Sooner or later, it's going to come back and kill him. Yeah. Yeah. The media is 100% printed. As far as I'm... As far as I know. Yeah, Sooner or later, it gets you. Yep. You it's a blood disease. You can survive for a while, but... Right. It's a blood disease. All right, my man. My brother. Busy tonight. Yes! How much power I got? <laughs> yes. I freaking help, couldn't help myself, man. I was like, I gotta go die. Talk about this shit. Yes! So Skinwalker Ranch is a series on History Channel. And also Netflix. Okay, if it's on Netflix, I'll check. I have Netflix now. I have not watched it. Smell what the rock is cooking, right? No way in hell. Paul Heyman was in rare form. His freaking, his fucking uh, Hall of Fame induction speech was off the hook. Off the hook. I was like, oh, I'm telling you guys. WWE is getting ready to experience a second renaissance. Freaking wow. <laughs> and they, they made it a fact at the Hall of Fame ceremony. They made it a fact to make sure that everybody understood that Vince McMahon is no longer in charge. Those days are over. That's why people are cussing. That's why you see blood. <laughs> I was like, oh no, they, they're, going, they're going back. To, you're gonna see a whole bunch of wrestlers return to the WWE now. A lot of them. They're gonna come back. Hey, let's get back over there now. <laughs> it's time to go back. Stephanie McMahon was wearing a ECW hat at during Paul Heyman's um, induction speech. She had an ECW hat on. What? <laughs> ECW. And they specifically made it a point to show just how many people Paul Heyman made famous. The Undertaker. A whole bunch of people got Paul Heyman made famous. A shitload. Bobby Lashley. Uh, just on and on and on. They made sure to mention it and show it to everybody. What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? How you been? I'm all right. What's up? Hey, can I eat you guys you go. I'm playing, I'm playing right there, All right, my brother. Oh, I'm back right now, bro. Yep, they, they specifically went out of their way to show just how many people got Elandra Elandra Blaze. She name dropped Paul Heyman. I'm telling you, it's on. Freaking Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, they're all on loud now about how they're Paul Heyman people. Freaking love it. <laughs> Shit. Roman Reigns almost started crying when he was talking about it during the, during the ceremony. She, uh, hey, what's up, Northwoods? She almost, she, uh, he almost started crying when he was talking about Paul Heyman. He almost lost it. He almost broke character. He managed to keep it together, though. <laughs> but it's during some an event like that, you know, they can get out of character. The, the fans aren't going to hold it against him. Even the, even the Rock got out of character for a very short period of time during the, the Hall of Fame speech. Because you know they got to do what they got to do. Paul Heyman got out of character for a, for a very short period of time to acknowledge Cody Rhodes and, you know, that family. 
That was cool too, by the way. For him to get out of character and freaking acknowledge Cody Rhodes, that was fucking dope. Yeah. What's going on? How are you? That drought affected this horror down here in San Diego. Temecula has a reservoir. It's called Lake, Lake Hodges. When I first moved to the county in the early 90s, that was an actual lake. People used to go out there and fish and, you know, go out there with their boats and stuff like that. Now there's, it's all full of trees. You can't, bear, you can't even see the water for the most part. <clears throat> Because the water level dropped down so low that trees were able to start growing in it. So now it just looks like a forest out there in that lake. But I haven't driven by it in a while. We've gotten a lot of water over the last two years. But, but see that even if, even if that, uh, even if the water level returns, the, the trees just die, but they don't freaking disappear or go away. They're just out there dead. A freaking eyesore out there waiting to catch fire. What's up, man? How's it going? We don't have anything like that, brother. We're not allowed to sell it. You have to go, if you go across the street to the liquor store, oh, it's midnight, they might not even Thank you, bro. Hey, what time is the liquor store closed? You know? The one right here in front. Yeah, the one right over here. Oh, that's Yeah, so then you have to go to like the San Marcos and just um, uh, he, wants, he wants to buy a wrap. Um, the one uh, uh, in front of the laundromat, you know the new laundromat? That is my first day down here. Yeah. You know the new laundromat? No, he's, he's new here. So, no, there's not. You're okay, not going to find that here. Look, bro. Look. I'm going to throw it away yourself. So, if you go down this street, right? There's the laundromat on the right. On the left side, there's a, um, a lake store that sells to 12. And, it, and if they don't sell, there is, if you keep going down, if you keep going down, uh, if you keep going down, you you get to a light, right? Get to a light, and in front of the light, there's a, a thrift shop. And in front of the thrift shop, there's a liquor called uh, Tony's Liquor. Tony's Liquor show, uh, so, uh, what time is it right it's now? It's midnight now. It's midnight now. Yeah, so it's that, that, that liquor store sells to 12.30. Uh, and if that, liquor, if that liquor store didn't sell, there's a there's another one that if you keep going down, there's another one that if you keep going down, uh, 
Uh, okay, look, so if you keep going down right, you keep going down right, you pass by, uh, uh, you pass by the, these two living stars, right? You pass by Tony's. You get to a lie that's called the uh, Ethereum Market. You take a right, you take a right, you keep going straight down. There's another shell that sells to a, that sells to a two thirty in the morning. I'm so, so you go you go down, and there's a it's a you go, it, there's a store called the Ethereum Market. Once you get to the Ethereum Market, you take a right, and you keep going down. There's a single pin. There's a the shell. That shell is a little too short. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Trying to get past that. What's going on, Northwoods? How are you? Decided to go live. Talk about freaking um, some videos. It's mostly wrestling. Though. Wrestling was, was excellent tonight. <laughs> At WrestleMania. Had WrestleMania today. Part one. This freaking music is loud though tonight. We gotta walk over here. Uh, hope everybody's having a good weekend. I gotta be, um, oh. Oh, I thought my music stopped. Uh, anyways, fire. What are you up to? Are you guys on a panel? Are you and a mountain girl on a panel right now? I gotta be careful out here. I got this freaking music booming. It's louder. For some reason, the music is louder when it's freaking cold. There goes Popo. I just had freaking Popo and the fire department go by. But he's stopping at the light, so maybe it's nothing major. They're not rolling code three. Maybe it's nothing too bad. Chilling out. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, I wasn't gonna go live, but I was like, screw it, I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna talk about wrestling. I didn't even look at my data. <laughs> Freaking crackpot. Didn't even look. Let's see how it goes tonight. Today is my Friday. So sorry. It's good to be seen. Shit. Might get uh, sick Vicky on. I got 30 likes already. What? <laughs> I wish more people were in the chat though. Can't complain. I should not complain, right? Got 30 likes. What's up, Untrackable? Mike Lowry. Jabroni. Right. Jabroni. Who else is it? Lawless! Well, well, well. Law Lawless is in here now. I gotta change my voice now. I got Lawless in here. I'm not gonna be showing up. 
I don't even care. I don't care if you're in the chat. When when, when Lawless shows up, I automatically got to put my deeper voice on. <laughs> the Angola, yes. <laughs> I got. When Lawless is in my chat, I have to change to the deep voice Lawless. You need. We need to get together again, Lawless. Man, well. I need, a, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I got a task for you, man. Well, I need my, I need my secretary of the interior. I gotta, I gotta, I got a plan. <laughs> what? I got a plan. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna reveal it. I have, a, I, I have, look it, look it, man. Well, I got a plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need my whole entire cabinet. We're gonna have to all get together. <laughs> Me, you, Cynthia, we're gonna get the whole cabinet together. <laughs> I got, I got a plan of attack. We're gonna descend upon Dalton. Me and the cabinet. Yes. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna need my secretary of interior for this, for this plan that, that I've got, I've got going on. <laughs> Arg! <laughs> I'm good. When when they remove, look it. When they remove, um, uh, Henry, there we're gonna take over. The Lar administration. We're gonna take over. <laughs> ah, you gotta go, Henry. Gotta go. Get on out of there, Henry. Oh my gosh. I need my I need my whole entire cabinet when we go in there. <sighs> there's no way we there look at there's no way we could do any worse than those fools. <laughs> okay, there's no way. We could not, there's no way. <clears throat> oh my god. <sighs> Tonight before I went live. I was going, uh, um, I was doing, I just started doing uh, research on Alexis Wilson and the, the Alexis Wilson shooting. And, you know, I got, I, I want to be careful about what I say. Let me think how I want to say this. Hey, so uh, I, I will, I'll say this, if you have the ability, if you, if you, if you can't stand tyranny, right, if you can't stand tyranny, tyranny stand with the people of Dalton, Illinois, I, I'll say that, that's what I, I can say, support the people of Dalton. If you can't stand here, I'll put it like that. Because I don't want to put I don't want to put me into it. It's gonna be it for you. Uh, not like that. Uh, let me do it too fast. How much gas you want? Uh, give me. I'm fucking the night, so give me twenty. On nine? Yeah, no, no. Give me ten.
Thank you. Yeah. Take care, bro. Good night. All right. So, anyways, that's what I'll say. If you can't stand tyranny, support the people of Dog. Back up what they have going on. And <clears throat> they have numerous, numerous people in the community that are that are engaged in getting rid of Henry. And they know what they're what they're doing. They know what needs to be done. So we need to follow that lead. I put it like that. Put it like that. Northwoods. Laura for president. Wait, what? You were li live last night. I kept looking hard. And she is off the hook. She is completely off the hook. So, um, vote for Lark. Thank you, Babs. So, Babs, look at you guys. Babs is on those, on those, on those channels also. I have seen Babs in those channels. So, Babs, can t she can attest to what I'm saying. The people of Dalton know exactly what needs to be done. All we need to do is communicate. Not even communicate their message. Just communicate that Henry has to go. And because the more attention that we put on it as a as a group, not just like not just freaking First Amendment people. I'm talking about live streamers in general. If you hate tyranny and you love the Constitution and you believe in civil rights and you know all of those things, then all you have to do is say, I support the people of Dalton. Not even that. I, I I would even go as far as to say, all you have to say is, Henyard must go. Henyard must go. Absolutely must go. Because it's just like insane. Freaking insane. It's, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm starting to uh, get exposure to more of those people. Because I'm telling you, there's many people in Dalton that have their own platform. They just need us to, to, to give them a larger audience, expose them to more people. Hey, what's going on? That's all they need. Because they got it. Trust me. They got it. They know exactly what's wrong. What's up? What's that? Basic today? So far it's been pretty good. Freaking, I'm, I'm proud of those people. Those people are freaking all over. They know exactly what's up. BH, what's up, BH? Yeah, Tiffany Henyard needs to go to prison. Absolutely. Prison, to prison, she must go. Yeah. Tiffany Henyard is, uh, she's not gonna quit. She's she's not. Her ego won't won't allow her to do that. She's absolutely has to go to prison and federal prison. That there's no uh, time served or good behavior for federal federal time. She needs to go to the fucking federal penitentiary with her crazy ass. What's up? 
You guys were just eating. We're going to get in there. Yeah, you guys are back already. Shit. I know you get this question a shitload of times. Is, yeah. Did you put that in, or did, did you have something bad happen to you? What? The, 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 oh, the grade? Yeah. No, just uh, over time, I've been growing it. I had my first streak when I was still a senior in high school. So it is your hair? Yeah, yeah. So did you get in a car wreck or something like that? Did no. you have something traumatic happen? I did have a ghost follow me that for the first year that um, that I had got my first streak, and I was like, literally a senior in high school. It was yeah. supernatural. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I did it myself. It, 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 it freaking messed up your freaking, um, when that happens, it's, I, I, I know a lady that I used to work with. She got in the car wreck when she was, I think, 21. Oh. And that, because she, because she got in that car wreck. Because, no, they're drunk. Because she got in that car wreck, um, her, 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 her chemical, you know, the chemical compound, she freaking, all of her hair turned white. Wow. All of her hair, even her eyebrows, everything. You know that, what's that thing that, um, there's like that, like white patches that get on people's skin? Mm -hmm. My, I had a friend that had that all over him because when he was a kid, he got attacked by a dog. Right. And that happened. Yeah, it caused your, your, the body to generate compounds. Because yeah. our body Some generates thousands compounds. of different compounds. Yeah. And you know it causes a chemical imbalance, but anyways, yeah, I thought that was it. This is uh, twenty three fifty five. That's why I asked you that. Because usually when I talk to people, it's because they had something traumatic. Yeah. Yeah. But her experience, I, that car wreck, I, was so traumatic on her that it caused all all of her hair on her entire body to turn white. I had a an experience one time when my friend would, uh, a friend. I was telling this uh, this one house it's haunted. It was an abandoned house. And, uh, all the kids in it, my town say it's haunted. Yeah. Uh, we went to it regardless. Yeah. And uh, I was getting just like weird dreams and stuff for, like um, afterwards. And that's around the same time it showed up. I don't know if it's connected or not. And it's definitely grown since. It was only one streak, and it's been growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I lived in a haunted house when I was a child. I was talking about that last night. It's, it's certain when you are in an environment like that, and people that have never experienced it will think yeah. that you're a crackpot until they deal with it. That's how I, <laughs> until they I, until they actually yeah, have to deal with it. That's why I can't even tell that. Like, you know, oh, you know, you guys are crackpot. Okay, wait till you freaking move into a haunted house. You'll see what's up. Yeah. All right, take care, you guys. What's up? How are you? What you got going on? Yeah, dude. You, you sick? Yeah. All right, 808. Marble Reds? Regular Reds? Thank you. 
There you go. Go get some rest. You should leave me out. <laughs> All righty. It's good to see you. <clears throat> she said she was sick. If you're sick, you should stay home, <laughs> okay? If you're sick and you know you're sick, you shouldn't be out around people. Unless, you know, unless you're taking the measures. She wasn't wearing a mask or anything. She knows she's sick. Anyways. That's how, uh, that's how diseases get spread. Yeah, she thinks she's, uh... New Jack City mobster. She's going to be, uh, and she was wearing, at the, that meeting, she was wearing the ideal attire. She's wearing orange. She's going to get to wear a lot of orange <laughs> when they toss her in prison. <laughs> yeah, New Jack City. She's going to be wearing a lot of orange. She's not going to step down, Babs. It, you know, it's not happening. The election is in 10 months and she's not, she's gonna ride it out. Mark my word, she's gonna try to run for re-election if, if they don't take her out of there before the election. She's gonna put herself up on the ballot again. And I heard that, uh, that, that mayor, whatever her name is, she's, they hired her as a investigator. Lock all the people out of the plane, right? Locking the doors to City Hall, to the People's Building. This, if she could, she would change it. If 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 she could, she would change the name of that town of Dalton to Tiffanyville. <laughs> if she could change the name of the town, she would do it. Oh, it's uh, the name of this town is Tiffville from now on. Welcome to Tiffanyville. Big giant thousand foot billboard before you before you drive past this <laughs> the city line right big old giant post billboard of her welcome to tiffanyville oh my god out of control completely out of control 34 lights people are leaving again people are bolting on me don't leave stick around oh I do have 34 lights. Oh, what? Come on. Lori Lightfoot. Yeah. Scary. Scary that they they hired her. I don't know if that was wise, but <laughs> like I said earlier, follow their lead. They, you know, you got to follow their lead. So, there you go. Who hired them? Was it the trustees that hired her? Or was it the citizens that hired her? Babs? Was it the trustees that hired Lori Lightfoot? Or was it the citizens? I'm waiting. I didn't get, I didn't get into it too deeply. I was freaking half asleep when I seen that. The citizens, I, okay. Well, I'm not gonna comment about that. I'm gonna leave it alone. I gotta back, I gotta go with the, I've gotta back those people. If they decided that's what they needed to do, then so be it. I'm not gonna freaking speak against those citizens in any way, shape, or form. At all. They know what they need. And I have to, you know, go with that. Okay. 
Now, I guess the next thing to determine is which citizens. But if it's the people that are looking to get her out of there, then I, I support that decision. I have no choice. I'm going to back those people up on their decision. Absolutely. Oh, I'm going to move this over here. One second. I need to move this to a better spot. Move this to a better spot. <clears throat> there we go. Before she was like a skunk. I was like, holy <laughs> crap, before I even seen her, I knew she was <laughs> Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, and that's not good. Bro. Oh, the store stunk up like crazy for like an hour. I, I, if I, would, if I would have been chased her out of there. I wanted to like spray uh, it all around, but I'm like, well, it's all next to the coffee. 
Yeah. I'm not gonna, I can't scream. She, you actually let her in the store? Yeah, I didn't realize until she was in there how she stunk, how much she stunk. Oh. I like, lingered. Like, holy shit. Yeah, like, man. You know what? Get <laughs> she, uh, she, she needs, she needs help. She actually needs, she actually needs help, help, like real help. Yeah, how could you live with because th that, that, that was like beyond, I was like, oh, this is, because when you told me that, yeah. yeah, you know how usually they, you, no, she's like completely oh, yeah. blown up, like, 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 like a skunk. Like a tw uh, 20 foot range. Uh, and we're talking about this lady. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the <laughs> lady camped out in front of his store. Was, she needs help. But she smelled so badly that you could smell her before you seen her. That's how bad she was. And you know, that's not good. That means she's got serious issues. Yeah. I, I initially, uh, initially when I was looking at the situation of Dalton, I was approaching it as, uh, you know, as, as, as regarding civil rights, you know, that kind of stuff. And then as I got more exposed to what was going on in Dalton, I came to realize that those people know exactly what they got to do. And that's why my stance now is you, I back the people of Dalton. Whatever, whatever they need done is what I back. So I had to I had to defer to them. That's their community. And everybody, in my opinion, everybody should be of that mindset. Especially if you're gonna show up there. If you're gonna show up to Dalton, at least take the time to talk to those people that are, you know, because they're they're readily available and they're all approachable. Talk to them and see what they what they need. And, and like I said, every single one of those people is ready. They, there's numerous channels on YouTube of people in Dalton. They have their own channels and everything. And a lot of those people have shitloads more freaking subscribers than me. A lot more subscribers. <laughs> okay? With my little tiny ass channel. So, you know, th what they need is support. So, there you go. Every one of those people got shitloads more subscribers than me. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, speak. It. I gotta keep it cool. <clears throat> Can I have your tapatio for a second? What's that? Your tapatio. There's a tapatio in there too. There's little packets. See, is there in the cup? There's no cup in there with Tapatio? No? no? Oh, it's empty. Yeah, you can borrow it. Just don't bring it back in the store, please. All right, All right man. Yeah, just please bring it back in the store. Yeah? It, yeah, just pr please bring it back. All right. She locked them out. The news, but she's getting media coverage by everybody, so. Oh. Mainstream, the, the mainstream media is finally, you know, getting a, taking, a, looking at that. But I, in my opinion, even those fools, because they'll get in there and fuck it all up. I'm telling you, anybody who decides that they are interested in seeing Kenyard go, need to defer to the citizens of that community. <clears throat> Because they know exactly what's going on. In every little detail, they know what's freaking going on. <sighs> Rooster! What's going on? How are you? So, I'm just going to continue to joke the shit out of her and her freaking crackpot. Um, her crackpot fucking chief. <laughs> the Tiffinator. That's, that's, that, that's going to be my contribution to seeing her go to prison. I'm just gonna freaking joke her to, and you know, in the crazy Lar way with her sick ass. The Tiff Mobile. 
She's getting a brand new. She's getting a brand new challenger, the Tiffinator. They're gonna call it the Tiffmobile. She's gonna have her face put on the side of it. Yes. Yes, Lacey, Lacey. I, I need a new car. This car ain't good enough, Lacey. This SUV ain't good enough. I need a new car. I need a Tiff Mobile. Yes, in the Tiff Cave. <laughs> the Tiff Cave. It's not funny. What are you laughing at, Lar? It's funny, Tiffany. No, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, let's get Tiffany on the phone. Hold up a second. We're going to call Tiffany. Hold up a second. <laughs> Here we go. Hold up. Here we go. Here we go. I got. It. I forgot. I have the red phone down here. I can talk to. Look it. I can talk to anybody I want to. Ta-da! Shit. I forgot about the red phone. It's like like the president's phone. I can call anybody. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, operator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Operator. Yeah, I know. I'm running for president. Yes, I know that. You want me to stop by your community? Okay, you got money? Well, if you want, hold up. If you want me to stop by your town, you gotta have money. If you want large resident. Right, okay. All right, operator. Oh, I, I, okay, let me talk to Tiffany. Yeah, thank you. Hold up, hold up. They're getting me Tiffany on the phone. Hey. Hello, is this is this is this the super mayor? Hey, this is Lar. How are you? I'm I'm doing good. What you been up to? Locking people out of out of city hall. <laughs> what? That was fun. You enjoyed that? Yeah. Hey, you know I'm running for president, right? You do. I. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiffany, Tiffany, I got a question for you, though. How much did you pay for that SUV? 50000 You got You got a good deal on it. Oh, you sold bonds. Oh. Oh, that's... Right. I, I heard that you're getting a Hellcat, though. You are. Jeez. You're getting a Hellcat. Ooh, a sushi bar and what? A jacuzzi. But Tiffany, how are you gonna get all that shit inside that, that Hellcat? You'll make it fit. <laughs> so what, what about what about Lacey? What are you gonna get for Lacey? He is getting an SUV. You're gonna give Lacey the Oh. So are you gonna get a mural put on the on the on the Tiff Cat? You are. Right. A big one. On the hood? Just on the hood? A big giant Tiffany face? Yes! How much is that gonna cost? 60,000. How much is the Hellcat? How, how much is the Hellcat gonna cost? 100,000. So $160,000 for the help for the Tiff Cat and the, and, the, and the the Tiffany mural on the hood. Dope! You need to let me borrow that car. You go, you go, you gonna let me borrow it? Yeah, I know, Tiff, Tiffany, I know. But look at, I want to borrow that car. I want the Tiff Cat. I'll let you use one of my Bentleys. Yeah, I got two fucking Bentleys. You didn't know that? Yeah, I got two Bentleys and a school bus. Right. Yeah, I'll let you borrow the school bus if you need it. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, I know. I, I seen that when you locked the people out. Hey, Tiffany, who who are those, who are those people that were sitting in the room when you let the when you let the media in? Those those were your scoundrels. <laughs> That's a good plan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, oh, yeah. That, no, I like that shit. I'm down. You know what I'm really, hey, what? You paid them ten thousand dollars each to sit there. <laughs> so there was how many chairs? Forty chairs, and yet how many people? Five. 
so only 35 people could get in. Right. But you know, right, you could have had a media pool, pool camera. Oh, but you wanted the back of the room filled up with media. So there was so there was less space for chairs. Brilliant. That's that's freaking brilliant. What? Oh, wow. That was a good plan. Yeah. But you messed up though. You you could hear the people outside yelling and screaming to get in. You don't care about that. They can kiss your ass. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany, you can't talk, I'm, I'm, I'm on my live stream, you can't tell me that. They can still kiss your ass, all right. What'd you think about when those trustees walked out on you? You don't care about that either. <laughs> ah, you legit. <laughs> what? Right. Okay, where's Lacey? He's right there with you. Let, let me talk to Lacey. He don't wanna talk. Oh, uh, so Tiffany, have you have you found out yet when they have have you got any word yet when they're gonna come raid your house? You're working on it. If you drop enough money, you can find out. You know, you can bribe some people. They'll they'll let you know when they're getting ready to raid them. Huh? Yeah, no, I'm serious. If you if you got enough money, somebody will leak it to you when they get ready to come take you away. Then you can skedaddle. You can get in the tiff cat and bounce. Right, you can just get in the car and freaking bounce. I'm out of here. Feet don't fail me now. I'm freaking out of here. Right. You running for a re-election? When you, you are. But Tiffany, you're not gonna get it. No, Tiffany, listen. You gotta go. They get ready to come hit you up. You, you're not. You're not afraid. <laughs> yes. Did you hear about Mike Tyson fight? You did. You don't want to talk about that though. You only want to talk. All right, but you already have enough pictures of yourself, Tiffany. Oh, you want more pictures? <laughs> hey, look it. I need it. Is your publicist available? Because I want I want to have a whole bunch of Laura for President stuff. Exclusive contract. But I I know, but I want my photo on shit too. I want the Laura for President logo on everything. I want it, yeah, yeah, right. But I know you got a big giant one of yourself, but I want one that'll fit on like the Empire State Bill. Right, right. Okay, yeah, I'll call you back, we'll talk about it. Listen, Tiff, I appreciate your feedback. Lick it, I'm telling you, you gotta get out of there now. Get the Tiff Cat and bounce. Those fools are, yeah, I know, Tiffany, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. They're getting ready to raid your house. Yeah, probably tonight. Tonight, I heard tonight. What? All right, I, I, I gotta go too. All right, you, okay. $100,000 for this interview. All right, I'll get Tommy to send you a check. You don't take checks either. <laughs> Tiffany is, uh, Tiffany's on. Uh, oh, okay, well, I'll have, I'll have Tommy come by with a bag of money. All right, you take care, yes. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. She's all over it. <laughs> she's all over it. She knows exactly what she's doing over there. Yes. <laughs> Freaking Tiffany. <laughs> I can't wait till this live gets replayed. You got you guys got to see an exclusive Laura interview with Tiffany. We'll see what maybe we can get somebody else on the phone tonight. See who else we can talk to. <laughs> Shit. The Tiff Cat. Yes. Mm. A black one. She wants a black Tiff Cat. With gold, with the gold, a gold, a chain steering wheel, right? The gangster gold steering, chain steering wheel. And the 15 inch gold curb feelers. And the spinning Dayton's. With the, with the Tiffany face on the Dayton's. So when the, when the Dayton spins, she spins, right? It is, oh no, better yet, the outside spins, but the inside doesn't, so her face doesn't spin. Dope. Shit, dude, you know, hell, why not? Yes. 
It didn't. Ha- it didn't have a, a PA speaker, a loud speaker, in the in the in the grill that plays Posse on Broadway. Me and Kit Sensation at home away from home in a black bins in a black stretch Hellcat. Na 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 na. Maybe she can get Sir Mix a lot to do a song for her. <laughs> she have her own music, Tiff music. <laughs> she has her own record label, Tiffany record label. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Uh. Yes. Oh. What's up? How are you? You're back. Did you hear this a little while ago? Yeah. Ha! 1214. Uh. Who you drinking with, sucker? My friend. My friend. Yeah. Me hope. Yeah, the home skill. My home skill. <laughs> 86 cents is your change. Can you? Uh, you too? Yes. Talk about some crooked ass politician that be. Crooked ass politicians. What about that? All right, my brother. It's good to see you. Got 35 likes. Have two people in here. What is going on? I'm live. Lar is live all the way live. Don't even have to walk. Don't even have to drive. Just sail over. Hope they haven't been killing my freaking um my bell. I've been noticing that a lot. Not getting notifications about when people go live. And it's not just one person, it's several people. I've not gotten notified that they went live. So I don't know what's going on. I think they're trying to chill. I think they're trying to chill our uh, channels. Did you get a notification that I was going live? Barbara. And is Sonia still here? Is Sonia still here? Who's in here anyways? I see two people. But there's always more people than what they say. You did get a notification. Who else is in here? It says says there's two people. See how many uh, more people come in here. Oh, my God. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care about that any fucking ways. It's not about how many people come in here anyways. Because as soon as I'm done with this live, I'm going to change the title of it. When I repost it. Yes. Got that freaking. Got that country music playing. It's killing me. You love. Right. So, what you got going on tonight, Barbara? What are you up to? Other than watching my crazy ass. Watching sick ass Lar. Got a lot of people coming in here tonight. But it has been, it's been raining for like the last two days. <sighs> Running around in these YouTube streets, right. I, I, I can't even begin to tell you how many freaking YouTube channels I visit a day. <clears throat> uh. I've been trying to find as many uh, channels as possible that are providing uh, information about Dalton. And there's a lot of them. A lot of them. A lot lot of channels about Dalton on, on on the interweb right now. Where is that freaking key? (sighs) 
What's that? Everybody live stream. I don't care if anybody else is live streaming either, to be honest with you. Brutal. What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on? Can I get a box of uh, Camel Blues short ones, please? Number five. Is that going to be it for you? Yes, sir. Sixteen fifty seven. Three forty five. Three forty three is your chance. Take care. Have a good one. Right back. Am I down to one person? If I get down to one person, uh oh.
I might have to end this. I am not on Wi-Fi. I am not on Wi-Fi. Using my data. I gotta be careful with my data. Bats, Freddie, I had to smash the thumbs up for you, bro. Black girl. Yeah. Uh, Jorge, back. What's going on, Jorge? Uh, how long have I, I've already been on for almost two hours anyways. It's just that, you know, I have to use my own, my own data when I go live. So if I don't have... My Bentley, freaking Bentley, yes. I'm waiting on my new Bentley. Where, where is my freaking new Bentley at? I hope they're not out joyriding my Bentley. Tommy and Vicky out there joyriding my Bentley. Wow. Just need to get those fools. I shit. I wonder if she sent Lacey to steal my freaking Bentley. Hey. <laughs> you might have to get her back on the phone again. You know, Lacey is a crook, so she might have sent Lacey to steal my Bentley. I shouldn't have mentioned that I got a Bentley. Damn. Ugh. Do, 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 do. Ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing going on. I got nobody in my car. I got a couple people. Hey, look at She got the freaking phone. Thinking about calling her back. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, you guys didn't steal my Bentley, did you? Return it now. <laughs> yes. I've been on for almost two hours. 37 likes. Shit. I can't ask for no better than that. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Yes. Oh my gosh. Pretty much talk about anything I want to talk about anyway. It is Saturday night. Nobody's got time for freaking sick ass lard tonight. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take off. I don't have when I broadcast when I go live from here. It's out out of my pocket. I don't have access to Wi-Fi. It's all going against my uh, my my plan. Anyways, I'm gonna end this. Everybody, you you guys take care. Thank you for sticking it out with me. This is Lar. I'm, I'm this is Lar with the peoples. <laughs> And I appreciate everybody being here. Let's look at you. Those of you that are still here. Tiffany Hendred must go. That's my message in parting. Tiffany Hendred must go. All right. You guys take care. Anyways, if anything goes down, I might go live later. I didn't even check my data. I, I just do, you know, shoot from the hip. <laughs> Everything I do is from the hip. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. I'm up almost at two hours anyways. Take care. Thank you for stopping by. This is Law. I'm out. Mm -hmm.